The Lord be with you. A read from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land of Genesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that he might touch only the tassel of his cloak. And as many as touched, as and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. So as a teenager, I remember one of my favorite TV shows to watch was Mad TV. I don't know if you remember Mad TV. It's very similar to Saturday Night Live. And there was this character on Mad TV named Stuart. I don't know if you remember Stuart, but it was this grown man who dressed up like probably this, this six or seven year old boy who would jump around and say, look what I can do. And you know, as I was reading the readings yesterday, there's a point to this. I promise I'm not getting off on a, tan on a tangent, y'all. You know, we're, we're hearing about Jesus going out and healing and how the people are just coming to him and they are seeking him out to, to be healed, to be touched, to be transformed. You know, when God heals, he's not, he doesn't have this steward mentality of look what I can do. He has this mentality of, I want to help you, each and every one of us, to grow in faith. You know, it's remarkable if we look at this reading, this gospel this morning, through this, the back door of the, the, the Old Testament, through the book of Kings, we can see where the book of Kings is talking about the, um, the Holy of Holies and one of the things, the Ark of the Covenant and the glory cloud. That glory cloud, which was a symbol of God's presence. That glory cloud, which showed us and showed the people of Israel that God was with them. But if we look at the gospel now in light of that, God is present among his people and doing mighty deeds. The word made flesh. The fulfillment of the law. Jesus Christ in the gospel is doing remarkable and marvelous things. And you know what the reality is, y'all? He's still doing those remarkable, marvelous things right here, right now, among us. He's still healing. He's still healing, maybe breaking those bonds of, of sin, making, breaking those, uh, fulfilling and, and making right those those wronged relationships that we have, Jesus is still working here amongst us in the world that we live today. But do we see it? And so my challenge for each and every one of us this morning is to see how the Lord is working in our lives. But not only just to see it, to give him thanks for it and to go forth and to share that with others. And so this morning, as we receive the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ in the Eucharist, we pray. Lord God, we thank you so much for allowing us to be here to come to receive you, your body, blood, soul, and divinity. Jesus, we ask in a special way that you would give us the grace to go forth and to just proclaim your good news, to share what you have done in our lives, to share that you have set us free that you have anointed us to go forth and to proclaim your good news. Jesus, we pray all of this this morning in your most holy name. 